So what is the process of soil formation? There is another term given to it. It is called pedogenesis. The person who studies soil is called pedologist. Now when we think of soil, these are tiny debris or particles. And where do these particles come from? Now that's the first question in soil formation. It all starts with weathering of rocks. Weathering is an exogenic force. Rocks get weathered due to activities of wind, glaciers, rivers, rain, waves and currents. So these are agents that help in weathering rocks. But how does it happen? That's what we'll see now. So when it rains, water falls on the rocks and they sweep into the cracks of rocks and freezes. Frozen water expands and that exerts pressure on the walls of the rock. This pressure is enough to make the walls crack further apart, thus expanding and deepening the crack. This is what happens to the city roads and footpaths. That's how they crack. Another way rocks crack is due to the actions of plants and animals. Some plants like mosses and lichens are capable of growing without soil on bare rock. While growing, their roots penetrate into the rocks by creating pores. And when mosses and lichens grow into grasses and ferns, then it grows into later on bushes and trees. This causes rocks to split apart as the roots force their way down through the rocks. The same mechanism how water splits the rock. If you dig into the soil deep, at some point you will reach the bedrock. Now what animals do is they create holes in the soil by digging. That allows water to reach down to the bedrock. And same thing happens again. Water splits the rock. This is how rocks break down and soils are formed. If you want to see more of such educational content, make sure you're subscribed. By doing so, you'll get an alert when my next video comes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.